Hello! How the fudge you doing? Hey guys, Dfield here bringing you another episode of Factions Let's Play. And this is the 98th episode that I'm recording tonight. And you know what that means, guys? That means that there is two days left until the big capture the wool battle. So since um, today's episode is going to be the 98th episode, that means that this will be released on Tuesday. So on Wednesday, that's going to be the 99th episode that's going to be released on Wednesday. And that would mean that the 100th episode would be released on Thursday. Now, in order for that to happen, that means that the capture the wool event will be on Wednesday, April 9th. Yes, Wednesday, April 9th, we're going to make it at 7 o'clock central time, alright? So 7 o'clock central time zone will be the Capture the Wool event. I'm actually going to go into game mode right now. Well, not game mode, but just fly. So home, CTWs, and then if I go into fly. So this is what you guys have built so far. So I've schematic this entire area so all the people who are still building can continue building. And in case somebody fully griefs it, it obviously will be easily re replaced. So... Everything over here is like, you guys, I honestly just thank you, all of you guys. Like, you guys actually built, like, biomes, you guys built towers. There's a lot of stuff going on, and it's really, really simple to actually look at everything. And uh, let me go into game mode so nobody shoots me while I show you guys around. But as you guys can see, there's uh, there's still people over here that, that are, like, looking around. See, these people are building right now. So, I mean, everybody will be welcome to this event. So, Factions Green will not be whitelisted. Uh, right When the event starts, we'll probably uh, whitelist it if we have a full server server on so that no new people come randomly join in, in like prop 4 or something and uh, basically what's gonna happen is everybody is gonna have access to kit start and a bow and everybody will have one life and I'll kind of have to try to make it so that once you die you can't really respawn or you'll spawn somewhere where you can just view the entire battle without actually uh, participating in it so anyways what's gonna happen guys is you see this full battlefield here there's gonna be two teams um, I'm not really I haven't really decided yet how the teams are gonna be chosen and maybe it'll just be like half of the server will be on one team and the other half will be on the other but obviously the goal of the game in capture the wool is to capture the three wool in each of the bases so here there's three wool so there's one two three oops I'm actually breaking those so there's three wool here and then there's three wool obviously on the other side and what's gonna happen is the first team to uh, capture the wool and bring the other three wool back to the um actual side is gonna be the winner and we're gonna actually try to make this a little bit interesting so in normal capture the wool you're only allowed to carry one wool at a time so once again you can only carry one wool in your inventory at a time to make it so that it's very fair for everybody else now the thing is since there's six wool in total so three red and three blue to win the entire game you must have at least five of the six total wool in your base in order for you to win so it's gonna be like a big pvp fight to try to find the people who actually have the wool and i mean we'll try to we'll try to find a way to actually um mitigate all of the stuff so that people don't just steal the wool and then log off so we'll try to find a way to track all that stuff i mean it's really just uh, gonna be a really really fun community event i'm not really sure how we're gonna determine the winner because it's probably just gonna be mass chaos all over this entire battleground but yeah i just wanted to update you guys on what's gonna happen with the capture the wool tournament right before i hop into this factions let's play episode and then we're just going to uh yeah go along with it so that's that's the announcements for exactly when the capture of the wool is so Wednesday April 9th 7 p.m. Central time zone is when that capture the wool tournament will occur so make sure if you guys do want to hang out if you guys do want to participate get on the server at that time before we whitelist it we'll probably whitelist it like 10 minutes before the actual event so that the server doesn't lag too much and then we'll try to get as many people on there as possible so I mean the server can only hold 165 people and that's when we will whitelist it when the server is full. So yeah, if you guys want to take part in that, go ahead and log on to that time and uh, we'll we'll jump right ahead to it. So what we're going to do for this episode is I realized something. I don't really have an XP farm in the, in my massive base here. So what we're going to do is um, I do have some blaze spawners. And uh, since the, since the, I'm going to show you guys here, I have 14 blaze spawners here. So if I place these blaze spawners, they still work. But the only problem is if I try to mine it, the, the thing is they don't get mined because of the silk touch spawners being broken. Oh, geez, I made a mistake. I know. I need, I need arrows. I need arrows to kill that blaze. Where did it go? 
it despawn perfect all right anyway so yeah so these still work to actually place i just can't physically mine them again so i have to be really really careful when i'm placing uh the blaze back down or if i'm actually needing to fix something i i i, I only have one chance to place the spawner in order for it to work so what we're gonna do is we have we sort of have a blaze spawner already i can show i can jump down and show you guys really quickly we sort of have a blaze farm already here but it's not really fully automatic i can't really afk it much i mean you can afk it it's just a little bit difficult because obviously um it's like it like the piston crushers don't really work in that way or, or i think this is a creeper farm actually so this is a creeper farm the the blaze farm is on the other side but what we're gonna build right here next to um our pigment dropper that we built on a live stream a way long time ago is we're gonna build ethos's blaze grinder about right right here and then we'll try to see if we can uh do it all on camera we'll probably extend this into two episodes because i'm not really sure exactly how long it will take but anyways the, mo the main point of this episode guys is to uh, note down the time of exactly when the capture the wool tournament is so keep that in mind guys I'm gonna go to the shop, and I'm gonna buy some uh, uh, Warp shop And I'm gonna buy some building blocks in order for us to build this uh, blaze spawner So what we're gonna try to do is we're gonna try to build ethos's blaze grinder right at our F home So here we go. We're gonna grab some bricks uh, Maybe some glowstone as well glowstones over here somewhere and we're going to go ahead and build ourselves a blaze grinder in the thing. So I haven't really memorized how to build, um, do I have glass? I need glass. I should have glass down here. All right. I've like memorized this shop because of the amount of stuff that we actually, why is my texture pack being weird? Look, the glass is invisible. But anyways, we're going to go on continue slash back. I believe I should still be on this floor. Oh, geez, there's a lot of creepers there. Oh, that's from our creeper farm. So this is what we're going to do. We're going to go straight up all the way. Um, so we're going to count. Um, I'm, I'm really just kind of imagining it in my head. Maybe 20 blocks up. So, And then we need to go 10 away from this well. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. We'll go 12 away just to make sure it's uh, it fully has enough room in order to uh, actually like not touch the wall and then we can always connect this we could actually connect this into one of these uh into one of these staircases so we're gonna move this over uh where's the staircase here so we're gonna move it about here oh that's not even uh here one more all right perfect so what we're gonna do is we're gonna build 20 blocks up into the air one two three four five six seven eight 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, you know what, let's go 18, 17, 16, 15 blocks into there. So we, we can always change it up as we go. But what we're going to do, so if this is the first blaze spawner here, we're going to go, um, as you guys can see, this is kind of, I'm just building this off the top of my head. So it's, it might be neat. It might not be neat. I'm not really sure. <laughs> we're kind of just going along with it and seeing where we go. So let's build a 10 by 10. So 1, 2, 3, 4. Or we're actually going to build an 8 by 8. So 1, 2, 3, 4, uh, 4. Four. If that's four, one, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So now one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So what we're gonna do is we're marking out this entire square area here, and we want it to be like a perfect square with the middle. So actually, we're actually gonna mine one of these and put the glowstone. So this glowstone is gonna be is gonna mark the middle of our farm. And what we're gonna want to do is obviously put. Uh, this into a corner like so one two three and then there needs to be one more corner here four like that and then this is going to be our main base this is going to be the main design for our um for our blaze farm so we're going to do this with each of the corners so this is one corner so one two and then we're going to go like this three and then one more four and then we're gonna mark out we're gonna mark out these corners as well. So wait, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. We need one on this corner. One, two, do 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 three. One, two, three, one, two, three, four. And then finally this last corner here. One, two, three, four. Alright, now what we're gonna do is we're just gonna fill in this square. So this will be our main platform for um, like the very, very top of the blaze farm where all the blaze will be. There we go. And put these blocks here. Oh, th this doesn't need to be here. 
and then just fill in the rest of this square right here and we can start to make our blaze room floor so i'm not sure i'm actually not a, actually sure if this is the right dimensions but we're, we're gonna just roll with it but then now i remember that we need to make a, an extra layer on one of these sides so one two three four uh like so so this is one two three four five six seven eight eight by one two three four five six seven eight by seven that looks like it's it looks like it's the right idea so now what we're gonna do is um let's see so if we have the blaze spawner so we're gonna act we're gonna have these act like they're blaze spawners right so these are the blaze spawners we're gonna have these funneled down oh this is gonna be hard oh geez uh where's that pillar that i built up from here it is all right so we're gonna build down here a little bit and we're gonna make a cage around around this initial area so let's make it a two by two cage and we could probably make this glass actually so uh people can see inside uh one two doo -doo 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 -doo, like so kind of just gonna have to build off off of the top of my head because i don't really rem I, I haven't even looked up the video of how to make um a blaze spawner in a while and I, I a while and i mean like a couple of months the last time i built a full-blown blaze grinder was like before the last map restart so i'm kind of just building off the top of my head right now hopefully it works out and obviously if it doesn't we'll kind of just laugh at d field uh trying to make a <laughs> blaze spawner at off the top of his head but we'll kind of just work with it you know oh actually this might not be a good idea if i do this because it will lower down the spawn rates if if there's glass but we'll replace the glass at the end we'll just use it for uh aesthetic looks right now but we really need to we really need a blaze farm in here that's automatic so i can afk while i'm doing homework and then while i'm afk doing homework i can kill them and then get another 30 levels enchant more prop 4 armor and become even more powerful so we're just going to continue with this we can always change up the blocks later but we just want to try to make it into a nice and efficient quick build farm right here off the top of my head all right so the blaze will be spawning in there all right so then now if the blaze are spawning in here they're just going to keep floating down and we want to try to get them into a small area so how we're going to do that is we're going to hold on we're going to mine a little bit lower actually mine these blocks up and then we're going to make a little closed off area like so uh how am i going to do this i forgot how to how how this is done um do, 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 do. let's see let's see all right, if there's a corner there, we can put a corner down here like this and then have pistons on this side maybe. Pistons at this side maybe. I don't I I have no idea. All right guys, I'm going to pause the video really quickly. I'm going to go watch a quick video and see how they made this little funneling section and we'll be back in one quick second. All right guys, we are back and we actually expanded. I looked at the video and I counted off wrong and it's supposed to be actually four. So if this is the center of your top row, this is actually going to have to be four glowstone extending from each side. So you're going to have a nine by nine little square at the very top. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So you're going to have a nine by nine layer at the very top like this. And then what we're going to do is we're going to want to extend this down by three so let me break off this the sections that i was building earlier and if you guys don't mind i am flying for this build just to make it a little bit easier make it a little bit quicker to record and um let's let's just go along with it so if this is a three by or nine by nine here we want to make this three deep so this is going to be like our basically our design of how we want um the actual how big we actually want the funnel to be so you guys are like what is the funnel the funnel is basically is what's going to bring the mob spawner or br bring the blaze and funnel them down into a small section down below so we're going to make this a three by three section like this which will make it so that if a blaze spawner if, if imagine this block is a blaze spawner the blaze spawner will only fall downwards and then we'll we'll make a little funnel going all the way down into this ground area right here and they'll be slowly funneled so if this is the funnel we're going to go to the roof and we're going to make an extra roof area, maybe two above. We're actually going to extend this up so then we can put multiple spawners. So I'm going to put an extra three layers at the very top and then top it all off with a um, uh, just a nice and simple box roof over the top. I'm about to sneeze, guys. Excuse me. <laughs> oh, excuse me right there. All right. So there's one. And we're going to just basically extend this by three and uh, we'll cut back when I've done that. 
All right, guys, we are back, and I d extended the roof by three, as I said, and then now all we're going to do is we're going to quickly square off this roof in a nice little pyramid fashion, uh, like so. Just finish off the nice little square that we have there. Do I have any more? I'm going to need to buy more stone bricks. So we're just going to continue on, and then we're going to try to do like a little lava lighting to have like an on and off switch uh, for this system. So we're just going to mine uh, the, the four blocks here, and we'll, we'll do the redstone mechanism for that. Uh, towards the end of the video, but there we go. So here's our little spawner room if that is our spawner right there Well, it's gonna be actually be uh, part probably in these little redstone pieces here But anyways, so hold on. Let me break this and see what is right straight above it All right, that's that works perfectly. So wait, let me replace that and put a glowstone piece there So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna extend this even further and you guys are like why would we extend it even further? And the reason why let me go to warp shop while I talk the reason why that we're, we're gonna extend it a little bit further is because we need the mob spawners to stop checking the spaces in order for them to spawn as efficiently as possible so the sooner the mob spawners uh, get act out of the actual um, mob spawning area the the spawner will be ready to uh, place more uh, blaze so like it basically uh, makes it so that it's a lot faster for them to keep spawning so what how we're gonna do that is we need to go a certain amount of blocks below the spawner so if these are the spawners here and there's another three layers one is there two layers here so we're gonna have to go another five so let's go one two three four five and then we're just gonna finish this right up go all the way along the side so this will be a nice actually let's go four Let's go for so we're just gonna finish and place this all the way around and we'll be back in another quick second All right guys, we are back just placing the finishing touches on this little area right here Whoops, I keep uh, doing that and I hope I really hope you guys don't mind me flying I'm just doing this to make it a little bit easier on myself as I am recording solo Insanity is already asleep. He's pooped out from uh, playing volleyball at for his uh, for his school there so let's finish up this thing right here. So there we go. Here's our first initial funnel area. So as you guys can see, it's just going to be a nice basic block like so. And then we're going to make the funneling area right now. So if they're, the blocks, once the blaze spawns, so the, pretend I'm a blaze, they're going to start slowly dropping down. And then we're going to make another funnel area. And we're slowly going to funnel them into a 2x2 two two, uh, little square. So how this works is we're not going to have any pistons on the side of each of these um, actual walls and the reason we don't need pistons for this base design is because the spawners won't be checking this area anyways so there's no point there's no point in having another piston area because um, if we do add pistons it does add a little bit of lag into the base and it also makes it so that there's just a lot more work to do and without pistons I'm, I think it's a little bit easier and since the blaze are obviously low enough it's not gonna matter if if they stay like if the blaze happen to land on this platform right here they can spend as much time as they need because they won't be they'll they'll be away they'll be far enough away from where the actual spawner is and the spawner won't detect an actual blaze uh, to still be there so it's really not gonna matter at the end of the day and all we're gonna do is we're just gonna kind of keep completing or repeating this pattern here and uh, honestly, if you if you keep doing this, this will this is basically all you have to do. You're just slowly just gonna funnel your blaze all the way down into a, like maybe a two by two area. And once they're in a two by two area, or a one by one area, as I have here, then that's when you can start actually making the farm. So there's our base design basically. Our 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 full design for the blaze farm is just like so. So the blaze will spawn up here. So I'm gonna break this so I can go inside. Uh, the blaze will spawn up here and they'll slowly make their way going all the way down into this little area here and obviously the, we're gonna make a little farm area here so let's make a let's just put a bunch of walls here and uh, if you guys want to make this into a full-blown um, so if the blaze the blaze are gonna land on this platform and we want to cover up their heads so they don't see us and then there we go. There's our basic farm, guys. I mean, we really don't need to do much. You guys could do a redstone mechanism in order to have a crusher. But, I mean, I really don't need a crusher for this because I can't. I do have a strength 5. Like, if you guys use uh, the splash potion trick. And I'll probably teach you guys that in, in a future episode. The splash potion trick for looting. But that's basically all you have to do. Like... The most simplest farm, I mean, you guys could add pistons, technically speaking. Like, if I if I were to add pistons, let's go to Warp Shop really quickly. If I were to add pistons, all you have to do is have stone. Do I have stone in the shop? 
I don't, I don't think so, actually. Home storage. I think I have some stone at my storage area. Uh, did I use it? I might have... Oh, here we go. So if I have stone, let's make those into pressure plates. Uh, I need workbench slash workbench. All right, let's make some pressure plates. Or how do I make pressure plates? Two? Is it two? There we go. All right, so let's make 32 pressure plates, and then we need some pistons. So slash back. I was at the shop. So let's buy some just normal pistons. So let's do that. Do, 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 do. And then what we need other than the normal pistons is a... Oops, I just dropped the pistons. Is we're going to need a repeater. I, I believe I have some repeaters from my kits, home storage. So let's just grab a quick repeater from here and we'll continue the farm. I mean, you guys really don't need this portion of the farm. I mean, it's, it's there too if you need it. Oops, home storage. Uh, where's my farm? Let's jump down. It should be somewhere over here. It's not rendering in. Do, 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 do. Where is my farm? <clears throat> Did I go past it? I might have passed it. Wait, no, it's another lawyer. Yes, it's another level down. Uh, do, 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 do. I hate when the chunks don't load in like that. So here we go. We are back. And boom. So if you guys really do want to add pistons, this is all you have to do. So let's say you want pistons on the, these four corners. All you got to do is break this. You're going to put the pressure plate here so if the blaze lands on this area, they're, they're going to proc the um, the repeater. So let's say let's do that. Then you're going to have to extend this area out by one like so. And then you're going to place, obviously, the repeaters on here. So if I step on this block, it'll activate that repeater. And there we go, just like that. And then what we're going to do is... Um, place, uh, where's my stone bricks? You're gonna place the stone. Oops, wow, I just wasted a blaze spawner. No, no, freaking blaze. All right, well, there we go. Let me just butcher those so they don't annoy me. Jeez, I misplaced a blaze spawner, just wasted one right there. And then all you're gonna do is you're gonna put, oh, I need sticky pistons. God dang it, warp shop. Oh, I brought the wrong one. Mistakes have been made. No, actually, let's let's tr let's try it without sticky pistons. Let's see if we can figure out how to do that. Uh, so you're gonna place the sticky piston above this block like so. So where is my piston? So this will have to be a sticky piston. As so, all you gotta do is place the sticky piston there. Obviously, it's not gonna push this because it's not gonna pull it back because it's not a sticky piston. But all you're gonna do is you're gonna make this into a sticky piston. It'll retract, and then once a blaze lands on here, all it will do is push it into this lower level, and obviously, it'll slowly start to funnel into that area. So this is the quickest blaze farm that you guys can build. It's really, really compact. Not as big as Ethos's blaze farm. I mean, you you guys could make more redstone mechanisms. I really just don't want to go into that right now because. I really just want a nice simple farm in order for me to start getting levels because I do need some levels in order to make name tags. So we're going to just block this off, like pretend like this wasn't even here. And then we're going to place the blaze at the very, very, very top. And uh, hopefully we can see if, if they'll actually slowly funnel into there. So here we go. Let's do this. Uh, close off this area. It's obviously going to take some while because uh, there's not as much... Um, as, as you guys saw, there, there isn't really any pistons that will automatically push the blaze in towards the center. So you, you kind of have to wait for them. But this, this farm works for when you're really just AFKing, like doing some homework. If you guys want to start spawning in blazes, obviously, you guys, all, all you have to do is sit there and wait for the blazes to start flowing down. And um, after a while, they start to collect up and you can start to kill them for levels. So this is all we're going to do here. I'm going to leave that one block there and cover up these holes for now because I don't need the lava turn off system. And then all we're going to do is we're going to place some blaze spawners in this area right here. So let's place a blaze spawner here, a blaze spawner here, and then, oh god, they're going to start to attack me because they're angry. Oh jeez. Alright, let me just fly so I can place the last two spawners if you guys do not mind. Oh my god, I'm going to get hurt. Uh, come on, glowstone break. And then one here and one here. Oh, jeez, they're owning me. What the? Oh my! Oh, I need. I, I'm gonna god apple. All right, I need. To, I need to use a god apple for wow, for freaking blazes. And then I. I need. I needed to waste one right there. And then right there. So this is the last of it. Uh, let me see if I can get out of here really quickly before the blaze escape. 
and there we go so all you guys can see oops there's another hole here all you guys can see is they'll eventually make their way well they're obviously aggressive right now so they're not going to fly down but if i take a quick peek there they are they're all in there and they'll eventually start to make and just funnel their way into an area here and all you got to do is kill them so this is the quickest blaze farm that you guys can really make see there there they are right now so they're starting to come down and that's all you guys have to do their first little xp farm really quickly you guys don't even need pistons it's just a nice little funneling system that you guys can make for a blaze farm hopefully you guys learned a little bit something there's a lot of modifications you guys could honestly do to this farm it's really up to you guys what you want to do with it but this is the most basic design for a blaze farm nice and easy nice and quick all the blaze come flowing down once once you're afking for a little bit and hopefully you guys enjoyed today's video make sure you guys try to participate in the capture the world tournament that will be happening on wednesday hopefully you guys enjoyed and we will see you guys later